Hello everybody, my name is James Turnipseed. Welcome to the Walking Dead episode recap review for episode East. Heads up, if you're not into spoilers, this ain't the video for you. So here's your description from TV East. When someone goes missing in Alexandria, the community goes on alert and search parties venture out. Pretty much, this felt like another filler episode with filler in it. Like, there was filler in the filler episode. To fill out the episode. So it starts off with, uh... Carol and the dude she was smooching. They're talking. And then, um... He brings up the niece and... Carol already wrote the letter, packed her food, packed her bag, ready to go. It's under the bed. And then she does that weird... They do that weird, like, when you zone out and you're not listening to anything. And you kind of hear, like, a buzzing. So they do that when he's talking and he's like, oh, sorry. And then it cuts to people doing daily stuff. Um, Michonne and Rick are in bed naked again. I guess everybody sleeps naked in the apocalypse. Seems like a weird thing to do in the apocalypse, but okay. And then they're like make, eating an apple and he keeps like kissing her all over and they want to get down to business. But Michonne's like, no, we got... Schedule, Meg got us on schedule, and I don't want to piss off pregnant lady. And Rick's like, yeah, I don't want to piss off that pregnant lady, especially. So, haha, <laughs> funny. Um, Daryl takes off. Not looking for Carol, because the guy hasn't given the note yet. So, Daryl takes off. Rosita, Glenn, and Michonne take off in a van after him. And, basically, Daryl's going to look for Dwight to track him down. And they find him, and they're on the same track. And they're doing that thing where it's like, okay, this girl got shot and killed on this track. Let's sit, let's stand and talk for a minute like she did before she got shot in the eyeball. So they do that and then they find Daryl and he actually shoots the arrow into the wall, uh, into a tree and Rosie is like, watch it, asshole. He's like, I did. And then basically they go, they go back and forth and Daryl's like, I can't go back to Alexandria he has to kill the white because he feels like it's his fault and Glenn's like it's not your fault dude you're doing this for you blah 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 blah, blah. and we, Rosita goes yeah I can't either and then they walk off so they split the party twice and before that Morgan and uh, Rick take off to find Carol so they split the party in three ways which you never want to do and guess why Guess what happens twice in the same episode? Take a wild guess. Did you guess the Wyatt was going to capture people? Yeah, he captures Glenn and Michonne and then ties them and gags them. And then they go off and they show Carol driving down the road in a car with a bunch of pipes sticking out of it. And I don't even know how one was in there because like, some were stabbed into the side, like the door, through the window, in the hood. Basically kind of like a Mad Max style thing. But then one's like stuck under the hood. But the hood wouldn't be able to close because it already has shit sticking out of it. But anywho, uh, as she's driving, she sees a truck in the distance coming. So she's going down the street this way. And then the truck's coming this way. And it's full of people. And it's got uh, three people in the back. One with the spear from the hilltop. And then another one with the uh, machine gun. So they shoot up the car, blow out the tires, shoot out the gas tank, or shoot out the bottom part. So the car's leaking. They ask her to get out. She gets out. And they get into it. And they're like, where are you from? So I'm Nancy from blah, blah, blah. I wasn't paying attention. And they're like, we know. Like, we're on our way to Alexandria. And then she does that weird panicky. <laughs> thing for like 10 minutes and the dude's like get her before she passes out and then she pushes she pulls a taxi driver and had a high power pistol under her uh, jacket sleeve and shoots all of them and then one guy is like stuck behind the tire and she's like come out and he's like oh I don't want to and then she finds him and kills him and then wanders off and then uh, the driver um like wakes up, he got shot in the back right here somehow. I guess he went like that to take cover when she started shooting. And then uh, he gets out the car and 
doesn't kill his friend that's lying on the ground. He's just like, let it go, man. And hides in the bushes. And then Morgan and Rick show up and they're looking for uh, Carol and they're like, there's blood and people. And Rick picks up the gun and he's like, where is she? Pulls a straight up Batman. And then like, just drops it on the ground and stabs him when he doesn't say anything for like, two seconds later. And then they wander off looking for Carol. And then they come up on some people, or a person, and some zombies, and they kill the zombies. It's, you think it's Carol from the back, but it's not. And then they kill it. And then you see some dude kind of armored, which if you read the comic book, you already kind of know he's either hilltop, most likely the hilltop. He had that black weird armor that they wear. Kind of look like Glenn, but no, it looked later. So either, uh... Hilltop or um, the Kingdom people. Speculation, speculation. He might have been a savior. I don't know. He had a spear and uh, he runs out when the zombies come. And then Rick tries to shoot him and Morgan pushes him. So he shoots the zombie instead. And then Morgan tells him about the wolf that he had captured. And he basically spun it in his favor, which... Basically, it's karma. Everything has a price. It's a circle. He talks about how uh, the wolf saved the niece so his niece could save Carl. And then Rick's kind of like, yeah. And then he gives him a gun and he's like, take it. And then they do a thing and Rick goes back to Alexandria and he's like, you come back, right? So it might be the end of Carol and Morgan or hey, Mer Morgan and Carol might come save the day. With the showdown. If you don't know, there's a showdown coming. That's why these episodes are filler. For the 90 minute season finale. Before I let you go though, guess what happens at the end? Can you believe this shit? Daryl and Rosita are tracking down the Wyatt. And they see Glenn and Michonne captured and got And Glenn's like, mm -mm. No, like he saw him like in the previous episode. When they saw Abraham behind the bushes, and he's like, wink. And he's just like, no. Daryl, mm. And he's like, trying to say Daryl, no. But he's hog tagged, or gagged. And then guess who shows up with a gun behind him and says, hello, Daryl. Dwight. So the same thing happened twice in the same episode that happened in the previous episode and the episode before that. How many times does the same thing happen before you feel insulted? The answer's two. And then... Guess what? He might have shot Daryl. And then he says, you'll be alright. But they did this weird thing, like, he shot him. Like, there's a gunshot, and then there's, like, when you put fake blood on a camera lens, and it gets that weird red, watery look on it, and then it cuts to black. And then, a sneak preview for the next week's episode. Uh, it's gonna happen like happens in the comic book, guys. Um... They show them on the road, and it's Rick, and they get stopped, and he's like, we can make a deal. And then it shows the back of Negan and the baseball bat pointing at your face with the shittiest barbed wire job around the baseball bat. Like, it looked like barbed wire, but they snipped off the sharp parts, you know what I mean? Oh no, look it up on the internet. I'm sure you can find it. And he's like, hi, I'm Negan. And that's how it ends. So, I may not do an episode recap for that. I might be at a sick of it all show, but the way my sister works, probably not going to happen. So probably next week I'll be here for the recap. If not, I'll put one out probably later. Might stay up all night and watch it. I don't know. We'll see. I might watch it the next day. We'll see what happens. Peace, everybody. I'm out.